Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm going to give you new updates from Giga Berlin. We also look at the limited supply of Tesla Model 3s. And if you're new to my channel, do consider subscribing. You're not going to miss anything coming from Europe. And I'm glad to have you here today. So let's look into Germany. So very important to understand. There was a lot of newspapers reporting, sadly, stuff that wasn't 100% uh, correct. So um, again, we are currently at a production rate of 240 cars per day. We are looking at 1,200 cars per week. That is something I got from an employee to Today, So that is um, the most updated version of numbers we have. Furthermore, the Model Y long range that is currently produced here in Giga Berlin is not for private customers, more for business customers. Um, the big name out there, I cannot name you, but you can guess it. Um, there is a big name that made a big order for Tesla. Um, so the Model Y long range is going to still come from a Shanghai factory for our private customers and for the business customers or the big companies it seems to be here um, from Germany. Um, furthermore, the shutdown is not going to happen today. It's actually going to happen on the 11th of July. Again, I was talking about the 4th of July before, but my source that I had back then in two, two three weeks ago um, sadly gave me the wrong information. So it is the 11th of July for two weeks, guys. Again, afterwards um, the production is going to be twice as fast so you can expect the production rate to go into August um, with a rate of 2,400 cars and higher. Um, that is the goal if you think about the speed that they are going to do that. If they're going to keep going five days, it would be 2,400. If they would add on the weekends, of course, this is going to make it possible to produce even more cars. So again, guys, you see a lot of updates happening here in Germany. And I think I hopefully could help you to clarify what's actually going on over here. I don't know anything about any supply chain issues so battery packs supposed to come from Shanghai in a normal manner right now. Now I want to talk about the limited supply of Tesla Model 3s. So um, thanks to Kenneth enough from the Twitter account who makes really, really nice slides here. Um, I'm able to use that one here to clarify and explain a certain trend that we can see. So uh, based on Giga Berlin and Austin producing Model Y as well as Shanghai and Fremont, we currently have much, much higher production rate for the Model Y. And uh, this is even after the updated production rate for the Model Model 3, a limited supply for the Model 3. So if you buy a Model 3 right now and the demand for the Model 3 keeps being as high as it is, you have a product, even though if you have to wait very long and you might be frustrated, but you have a product that will not decrease in value. There is no overflow. There is not too many cars on the Model 3 side. So that is actually very exciting. I personally received the Model 3 standard range in white with black seats um, just a few days ago from my boss. So I'm going to show you some stuff um, in the coming weeks. But again, it was perfect, perfect quality from Shanghai. So they are doing a very good job over here. So now we're going to look as well into other slides because you can see based on this slide as well that based on global deliveries, if we look into 2020, um, five 2024 the numbers for the model 3 increase and that's the reason behind that that um, we expect the model 3 to come to europe by 2024 but more likely in 2025 this is going to happen because tesla has to uh, make an expansion based on my estimates for giga berlin and i think they're going to do that by the mid or end of 2023 so tesla would have two years to build an expansion in um, giga Giga Berlin and until mid next year the production is going to reach the capacity and Tesla is going to make money with Giga Berlin so that will allow Tesla to again take money in its hand and push an expansion in Germany. Um, for the Model Y of course the production rate is going to further increase with Shanghai expansion and of course Giga Berlin, Austin and more. 
What many people don't understand based on the comments we have seen from Elon Musk in the uh, last two weeks, uh, many people said, well, Tesla is going to lose billions with their Austin and Shanghai, or in this case, Giga Berlin factory, to be correct. And here we see it is a process, the cost of the revenue. Um, of course, at the beginning, you're not going to make any money. And if you look into Shanghai with 61% um, cost from the revenue um, they make, um, this really shows how much money um, Tesla is actually making from the Shanghai factory. And once the ramp up is working pretty well and we are going into next year, um, the numbers are going to get even better in Giga Berlin, going to 86, 79, 75, 71. And that is the same for the semi or the cyber truck when they will launch. It's the same issue. You, you have to ramp up the production first to really make money out of this product and the production line, the costs that are involved, the people working for it, etc., etc. This is what many people, um, basic economics, they don't understand that. So it is taking some time. And um, many people are still out there um, saying, well, why is not Giga Berlin producing five, 6,000 cars? We are late. No, that's not the case, guys. It takes some time to make a perfect production, even though we had some issues right now in Germany as well. Looking into the revenue, we clearly see the Q1 numbers um, that we already know. Um, let's expect a bit a lower number for Q2. And then into Q3 and Q4, we can expect very high numbers. Um, it, despite all things happening in the world, as long as there is no lockdown and shutdown of the production, I do expect Tesla to see a um, major, major increase of production and output to customers in the next two quarters. Um, so all the doubters that are out there right now, all the hate um, that is out there um, towards Tesla in this moment, um, they're going to get even more quiet in Q3 and Q4 because many, many people right now came from nowhere um, criticizing Tesla for its um, results. So um, I think we're going to see some really, really good, nice backlash here. Then we're looking into the numbers. What is Tesla actually earning per dollar? So 85 cents or 484 cents coming from the car business and the energy business is going to increase in the next few years as well. Once Tesla has enough batteries, that is very important to understand. And that's currently not the case, especially not in next year. But um, in 2024, 24 and 25, um, we are likely to see this number to increase. So thank you very much for being here today. I really um, enjoy having you here. Do consider subscribing and I wish you a wonderful day. Take care.